Okay, so I'm going to be reviewing today the Califia Farms Dairy-Free Almond Milk Creamer. Just from aesthetically wise, first of all, this bottle is gorgeous. Look at her curves. Okay, girl? Yes. Um, it is a lot of plastic, though, but I'm going to act like I'm zero waste. Okay, so... Uh, blah, blah, blah. This is the vanilla natural flavors on my milk. Only 15 calories per serving, which is really great. We'll see what serving is, what one serving is. And it's 25.4 fluid ounces in here. That's a lot of almond milk. I mean, creamer, I think. I don't know. It's made with real almond and coconut cream. Let's see. Uh, no hydrogenated oils, artificial colors, or other nonsense. I like that. I don't like nonsense. Vegan, BPA-free. So the bottle's BPA-free. That's cool. Gluten-free. Kosher. Hey. I'm not going to even try to say that. Mm-hmm. That free. Non-GMO. Okay. So, for the serving size, one tablespoon. Who really follows that? I mean, I guess someone does, but I'm a fatty, so I could care less. But what I do want to see is the ingredients. Almond milk. Coconut cream. Vanilla extract. And a other a lot of stuff. Locust bean gum. That's very interesting. Let's try it. Hubs, and so he's going to try it too before we both have to go to work. Can you open that? I got one hand. I like my coffee, uh, like a light skinned black person. So you go ahead and pour, and we'll see. I think you have to shake it though too. Oh, you don't. That doesn't. Well. They're on my lip. I know. I see it. Just lick it off. It's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna kill you. Okay, here we go. Shake, shake. I have to get out of here because I've got to go to work. Okay. Here we go. I'll just go ahead and pour. That was a little chunky, wasn't that? Mm -hmm. Oh, can you pass me a spoon real quickly? I'm gonna let Trevor do the first little. I do have more fine taste buds. So. Says who? Says the age of my existence. What's how old are you? 29 and a half years old. So you're turning 30? So, uh, eventually. Eventually, meaning this year? Not enough in the home. What? Okay. All right, here we go. Trevor. All right, moment of truth. Let's try it. Let's make this a quick review because I have to get to work. Does it need more creamer? Yes. Here. Oh, that was a lot. From first. It's, it's actually pretty light. Well, and you know, that's interesting that it's light, though, because it's actually pretty thick. Did you see me pouring it? Mm -hmm. Like, it's pretty thick. That's actually really good. Wow. Okay, hold on. My turn. I actually like that a lot. Well, it needs sugar. I will say that. No, it doesn't. Not if you're a sugar... If you're not a sugar holic. But it is very, very creamy. Wow, Trevor just put some in his coffee. What what is this world coming to right now? So what taste like what flavors did you taste? Vanilla. Mm-hmm. And vanilla. Okay. It also has coconut cream in it. Yeah. That's what I guess gives it like that creamy taste. Um, okay, so from the first sip to well, from your sip to when you swallow, you don't get that bitterness that sometimes you get with some creamers, some non-dairy creamers. It's very smooth. A very 
agreeable taste. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? No? Smooth. Yeah, it's very light. creamy. Light. Just like you. Smooth, creamy. I give it two thumbs up. Really? Because you've tried some non-date creamers and hated them. Thought they were terrible. Okay. So, um, as far as scale-wise, I'll put scale-wise what I think... 1 to 10 as far as creaminess, taste, the price. It was $5.99, which now that I think about it is a lot of money for a creamer and only for 24 ounce, 25 ounces. Um, but it's a little bit more expensive than other ones that I've seen, but it tastes really, really good. Oh my God, I got to go to work. Bye. I love you. I'll just start. Shut your mouth. Gotta go. I gotta fix my scarf too.